Hello my beautiful dolls, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So today I am back with a haul video. I did purchase quite a few stuff from Nykaa from the Diwali discounts. But I do have a few things that I purchased before the Diwali discounts. So I will be including that stuff also in this one. Nykaa is expanding on a large rate and they are introducing new brands every day. Even they have introduced a full line of makeup in their own brand. Uh, they introduced a brand called called M Caffeine. I don't know if it is called M Caffeine or Mech Caffeine. So this is how the packaging looks like. They have only few uh, body care, skin care and hair care products in their range. I bought a shampoo from them and this is the Bouncy Techno Caffeine Shampoo with Vitamin E and Coconut. I love coconut oil. This shampoo claims a lot. It claims that it promotes hair growth, reduces hair fall and and it energizes your hair with the power of caffeine, makes your hair stronger and healthier. It is paraben free, it is cruelty free, it is, uh, if I'm not wrong, it is an Indian brand. So why not to promote an Indian brand which claims so much. I really wanted to try this and see if the claims are true. I haven't tried it yet. First of all, the brand is so cute they sent me this thank you note i love when brands uh, give their products a personal touch the bottle itself looks like this it is 150 ml of product in this bottle i will be trying this out and i will let you know how this worked for me and if it does what it claims then it is going to be the lifesaver of so many girls i know that for a fact so i did purchase a sunscreen from this brand as well i have been trying out a lot of sunscreen screens from a lot of different brands because winters are coming I wanted something which did not leave a white cast and which actually felt like a moisturizer and I came across this bottle this is also 150 ml I actually uh, transferred half of this bottle into my travel size uh, bottle so that I could carry it around and reapply it on my face when I'm outside in the sun so I've, I'm trying a lot of sunscreens and I so far so good I have been using this from past one month every day and I'm loving it. I don't know. It, it can be my new favorite in the sunscreen section. It is so good. It feels like a moisturizer. It just goes into your skin. Your skin just absorbs it. It is so good. It is a sea fern SPF 30 caffeine sunscreen with argan oil and calendula. I'll show you the consistency of this product on the back of my hand. So it comes out like a normal white cream, like a moisturizer. And when you start working this into your skin, like you can see here, so it it just the, the skin just absorbs it. There is no white cast whatsoever. It just gets absorbed into the skin so well it is not sticky at all and it gives a little bit of a shine if you i don't know if the camera is picking up the shine but it gives a little bit of a shine but it is a lifesaver i think because in the winters you just want your skin to look glowy and i think it has that quality and it it is perfect i am using it for one month if you are looking for a good sunscreen i think this is going to last me for three to four months. Uh, the last product that I bought from the same brand is this Mech Caffeine Caffeine Face Wash with Vitamin E and Argan Oil. I don't know what is it with me in the winters. I I, I just get attracted towards the product which have oils and vitamin E in that. So um, this range has all the goodness of all the natural ingredients out there. So I bought this small travel size 50 ml face wash. I haven't used it because I bought this for my travels and it smells really good. Now moving on to the makeup stuff, I would like to start with the Nykaa brand itself. Now Nykaa has been coming out with a lot of new stuff in their makeup range. I went online on their website and the first things to order from the Diwali discounts were their own range because uh, I really want to support the brand because they have brought the beauty world from here in India to there. They have launched 
so many brands so many international brands so many indian brands and they are coming out with so many cruelty free brands and they themselves are cruelty free and that really speaks out to me about a company so many brands which weren't available in india like milani la girl la splash and the balm cosmetics and so many more are now on nike and not spending on their own products would be um, you know a crime for me i think for the packaging i will give nike a thumbs up because the packaging is really cute from their skin uh, genius range i did purchase this skin perfecting and hydrating compact so i purchased uh, this compact actually looks like this this comes in this uh, in this matte black packaging and has this nike engraved in silver in this i actually purchased this powder a few months back this is in the shade rose beige uh, but it was a little too light for my whole skin i could set my under eyes with this one but for my whole face it was a little light so i wanted to try out one shade darker than this one so i went ahead and purchased this one in warm honey so here it is this is 03 warm honey they mention the shades right here it does have a sponge to apply the product on your face which i'm not a big fan of after this for the base products i picked up these two i picked up the skin genius sculpting and hydrating foundations in the shade warm sand the packaging looks like this it has 30 ml of product in it for 575 rupees a 30 ml product is quite good so i personally don't like this kind of applicators because you tend to get more product when you squeeze the tube uh, the packaging it is really normal like a very uh, drugstore brand kind of packaging and then uh, from the same skin genius range i picked up this foundation stick i picked the foundation stick in the darkest shade this is in the shade toffee chisel i'm not a big fan of stick foundations i really want to love them and enjoy them and from the stick foundation i bought this darkest shade so that it helps contour but looking at the shade i don't think it is dark enough to contour the face i'll use it in the video which i will be doing only for the nike products and then i'll let you know my thoughts about it for the base applicator nike came out with this beautiful nike blend master sponges i haven't tried out beauty blender yet but from the looks of it it looks like a beauty blender i purchased these five products all uh, from nike for my eyes first one is this kajal uh, this is the rock the line kajal from nike and it is waterproof it is smudge proof and it has no transfer at all and it has it claims that it stays on for 10 hours on your eyes uh, i'm really excited to try this on i purchased this black magic liquid liner from nike as well in the shade super black it is a normal liquid liner with a really fine tip so recently i promised myself i won't be going out and purchasing any eyeliner with a felt tip like those pen kind of eyeliners i i was really pissed off on my earlier eyeliners they just dry out you get no pigmentation nothing at all and your money is down the drain so i promised myself that i'm not going to use any of the felt tip eyeliners i'm only going to use the uh, liquid eyeliners uh, but then nike came out with two eyeliners i did purchase only one i purchased this nike get winged eyeliner from the outside it looks like a normal pen eyeliner but then when you look at the applicator it is really interesting it claims that it helps make a perfect wing it has this interesting shape the pigmentation is insane i love how black this is i purchased this nike glam eyes nike came out with four different colors i purchased this blue hex color all right all right Yeah the pigmentation is just beautiful. I love the pigmentation of both of these so far. The last product that I purchased from Nike was for my brows. It is the Brow Chica Wow eyebrow pencil. First of all, thumbs up to the name of this. Brow Chica. I think it's beautiful name. I purchased in the shade Coven Coco. It is a normal brow pencil with the spoolie on one end and this a uh, pencil on the other i hope this is not too waxy because then it does it does move around on my eyebrows all right all right not bad 
It is a little waxy, but the pigmentation again is beautiful, beautiful. And yeah, it is a little waxy, but I think I can work with this. I really love the packaging of this. And uh, yeah, overall, it's a beautiful product. So this was the last product from the Nika range. Now moving on in a haul, I purchased a few things from Essence. The first one being their matte foundation. Uh, Essence All About Matte Oil-Free Makeup 12 hour long lasting foundation in the shade matte nude now uh, i really want to talk about the shades of this the one problem that i have with a few brands is that they don't have enough shades in their foundation ranges i would like to mention that there are not only light skinned people in the world there are people with dusky skin tones there are people with darker skin tones there are people with olive undertones with peach undertones with yellow undertones why come out with only three shades of foundation this is so not right this is not right for the persons who want to try other brands but because you don't come out with more than three shades they just cannot relate towards your brand i love essence as a brand but when it comes to foundation they only have three shades so what's that about i don't understand i don't get it even so many indian brands they only come out with three to five shades there are so many girls in india with darker skin tones than mine there are not only three skin tones in india i want to give a shout out to rehana's new fenty beauty collection i haven't tried it yet but seeing that they have come out with 40 shades of foundation that's a start that's something that I have respect for. That is a brand I can relate to. So please come out with some more shades. I just hope that all the beauty brands come out with more than 10 shades at least. I purchased this I Love Extreme Volume Mascara from Essence. I really wanted to try this out because I have heard so many good things about it. And looking at the this gigantic wand of this, I know what the fuzz is about. I will be trying this out, but I think there are so many bristles on this mascara wand that it is going to separate as well as add so much volume to my lashes looking at the wand itself. So I think it is going to be a steep. Then I purchased purchased this Essence Sun Club Shimmering Bronzer Bronzing Powder in darker skin shade. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. So uh, when you are all matte in the winters, you have applied a matte foundation, matte everything, you want, you still want to look a little glowy. So for the bronzer, I wanted a bronzer which had little shimmer particles in it. So it has that. So I purchased this one. After that, I purchased this Shambor Eyeshadow Stick. This is their a rosa uh, sculpting eyeshadow in the shade pearly beige i really love the shade i wanted some golden pearly and silvery shades in my eyeshadow collection the shade is so pretty itself then i purchased this color bar all day waterproof eyeshadow stick in the shade gold show the stick looks like this in the black packaging and the color is this one it is kind of like the chambord packaging the product looks like it has the same packaging both from chambord and Colorbar. so i purchased this pearly beige from chambord and this gold show from Colorbar. beautiful beautifully pigmented shade. it is a beautifully pigmented yellow gold shade right here so the next product i purchased this eyebrow pencil from la girl it is a normal eyebrow pencil I have tried a, quite a lot to open this packaging up but it is it just don't want to open up so I can't show you the shade is brunette so it is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade brunette so it also has a spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other I'm really sorry it is just it just don't want to open next I purchased this LA Girl Matte Flat flat finish pigment gloss so it is a matte flat finish pigment gloss a very long name so i purchased this because uh, kathleen was saying that it is one of her favorite colors from this range this is in the shade fleur i hope i'm saying this right this is a beautiful uh, coral shade 
because the festival and wedding season is coming in India. So I did purchase three of these eyelashes. These are from Ardell in the number triple one. These are really, really long and fluttery eyelashes. Then I purchased two of these eyelashes, a band from PAC, PAC 60 and PAC 54. Pack 60 are for a dramatic look. Pack 54 is more for the daytime natural looks. So with that, the haul is complete. I really hope you enjoyed this. And if you beautiful girls and handsome boys have already tolerated me from the very beginning till the very end, then why not to subscribe to my channel? It won't cost you anything. It will just help me increase and grow my channel. And people will know about the cruelty-free products that I'm using and the message that I want to spread. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go watch my other videos and I will see you in my next video.